Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into this episode of Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. Everywhere I am, there you are. Everywhere I am, there you are. Everywhere I am, there you are. So let's go ahead and shout out the comments of the video. I love comment. I love sharing these comments because I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate communicating with you guys in the comment section. So if you haven't already, leave a comment. Um, so this is from Laura is a bird. <laughs> Laura is a bird and she this person commented on my how to find an apartment in Los Angeles. If you guys are not familiar with my story, I um, am an actor and I lived in Los Angeles for four years pursuing acting and I uh, have been back on the East Coast for a year. So this person commented, I lived in LA in the LA area forever so I hadn't even thought of some of your tips. Your tip about staying somewhere while hunting is super helpful for people coming here. I also made a video on my own tips. Lara is a bird. Thank you so much. Go ahead and check out her video on tips on living in LA. If you are thinking of moving, about moving to LA, I have an entire playlist. Four years of information for you in my uh, moving to LA playlist. So go ahead and check that out. So let's get let's just dive deep here okay let's just dive deep about three years ago i had the privilege of seeing god in my dreams i was really committed to my like uh spiritual path spiritual journey i identify as a free thinking christian i believe in jesus i believe in jesus as a spiritual teacher i believe in the holy spirit the holy spirit me and man tight i believe in the blood Okay, and I believe in prayer and I believe in that God lives in me as me and through me. God lives in everything. God created everything. And so that's where I'm at with uh, what I believe I was not raised, raised religious in any way, shape or form. But I was really committed to reading the word, um, going to church all of the time. I don't go to church anymore. Going to church all the time and just... I was really working on my relationship with the Holy Spirit and understanding prayer as a secret weapon and understanding how when I asked the Holy Spirit to help or to see something, I received the answer. So I was working on my relationship with the Holy Spirit and one day I said, okay, God, show me yourself. And I must have been free of all human drama because God came to me in my dream. And I've been wanting to share this with you guys for a long time, but I just like haven't. So in the dream, God was space. There was a mighty presence, but no form. Not a man, not a woman, not an angel, not tall, not short. Just huge, mighty space. And you could feel, I could feel the presence in my dreams. And God said to me, I am a God of ease and flow. Everywhere I am, there you are. Everywhere you are, there I am. I am a God of vastness and depth. And again, guys, there was no face. There was really even no voice. It was just like a voice that you just hear in your head, but it was not a distinct, uh, it wasn't male, it wasn't female. It was just clean, cut and dry. I am a God of ease and flow. I am a God, I, everywhere I am, there you are. Everywhere you are, there I am. And I am a God of vastness and depth. And I like woke up and, um, I made some like Instagram images, like affirmations of it, and that was it. So when you hear me in my videos or when you see me on Twitter or Instagram say like he, when I'm referring to God, I'm honestly just doing that out of habit. Um, I'm doing better at not doing that, but I'm honestly just doing it out of habit because I know 
that God came to me in my dream and God is not male nor female. Now let's break it down. <coughs> Excuse me. Ease and flow. That is why patience is such a big deal in the living word. That's why patience is a virtue because God is not in a rush. We are in God's timing because God is not just orchestrating your life, honey. God is orchestrating the life of the people that you need to meet. God is orchestrating the lives of the people that need to sign your contracts. God is orchestrating the lives of the people that need to get out of your life in order to receive the blessings. That takes work. Okay. So God is a God of ease and flow. If you are his creation, excuse me, I said his. If you are his creation, then you need to be a child of ease and flow and have patience. Patience with everything. And we all battle with patience because we're all trying to keep up with the Joneses and, and society has taught us you better hurry up because by 30 you need to have a career and a significant other and kids and a mortgage <coughs> and, a, and a car and no student loan debt. <laughs> so... But God doesn't care about that. God's like, I guess. <laughs> if you want to, if that's what you want to do, sure. So remember that God is a God of ease and flow and patience is important. And as I speak to you, I speak to myself. I learned the hard way many times, blind determination, doing what you want to do, you know, uh, going full speed ahead, does not serve you at all because um, there's just another way I realized that I am something called a generator um, and I am somebody that actually needs to sit and meditate and let God speak to me and guide me in my decision making I'm an Aries fire sign so I'm like and I have like a, a what is it? I think I have my Mars and Gemini. So I just have a lot of energy. And so I'm always like, boom, 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 boom. But actually, this incarnation, I am meant to just be still. And let God be God and let God instruct me. The next thing is, everywhere I am, there you are. Everywhere you are, there I am. And that is basically God saying, like, I live within you, as you, through you. In God, I live and move and have my being. Like, God is all up in here through you. God is experiencing itself through you in this incarnation, in this manifestation. Everywhere you are, God is. You know how many times I've been somewhere where I felt like God was not? You know how many times I have been out in the streets, okay, and felt like, it's just me. I'm doing it on my own. It's just me. You know, God is somewhere up there and I have not called upon his name. So uh, I'm going to just keep doing me. No. God is in you, as you, through you, always. And you can take that how you want. You can take that and be like, wow, I'm so powerful. Or you can take that as, damn, I need to clean up a little bit. <laughs> no religiosity over here, though. No churchianity. We're not doing that. It's more just like, damn. That is some dope, crazy stuff when you sit there and you think like, the living God that created the mountains and trees and rivers that created life and death that said that I am so important, I need to come to this earth, lives in me. You're never alone. Even when you have feelings of loneliness, you're never really alone. Next thing, God is the God of vastness and depth. Vastness and depth. Let's do it again. Vastness and dripped. Okay. Do you guys ever think about how like you can feel like God is always there for you, rocking with you. Like every time you pray, God hears you. Can you imagine? 
there are what how many billion people are on earth now seven is it seven billion six seven six six seven god is and even if those people are atheists doesn't matter god is still like i'm still here like i'm still again no re no religion no churchianity like whether you believe in god or not god is real so universe is real god is real like all of that um imagine god working simultaneously on hearing everyone's prayers seeing everyone's actions everyone's intentions at the same time like what that is vastness that is depth that is intricacy okay that is the type of god that lives within us as us through us that is the god that is with us that is the god that is of ease and flow i would love to get your opinion on this if god has come to you in your dreams please leave a comment below nothing scary nothing creepy please don't do it don't make me block you um i thank you guys for tuning in subscribe if you haven't already i realize that 92 percent of people that come to my channel do not subscribe so please feel free and lovingly subscribe hit the like button comment below and let's have this conversation this has been on my heart to share with you for a very long time so um Feel free to share it with your family and friends. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next video. 